Dear students, fuel consumption in aviation industry economics is a certain question that can be answered using the tool of differential equations. Let us see how. So we are talking about fuel consumption and it's uh, in some aircraft and that's the aircraft that we are talking about. Definitely some fuel is consumed and uh, the variable is represented with fx where uh, you know fuel is uh, being represented with f and x is the travel kilometers that it has done uh, during various flights. So suppose that fx satisfies the following differential equation. So there is a rate of change or rate of consumption of the um, fuel when the aircraft is traveling, flying. So that uh, is uh, basically modeled with this function. Ye function hume yehi bata raha hai ke rate of change of uh, consumption jo hai fuel ki wo kya hai. Aur isme x jo hai definitely is the same variable jiski baat humne ki ke ye travel distance hai kitna usne travel ki in kilometers. Initial condition ka bataya hua hai ke initial condition of the or the level of the fuel in the plane is this. Ke jo initial level tha fuel ka wo tha this that is uh, 12,000. Uh, certain units will be there definitely. So find the sol a solution of this. We have a solution nikalna hai. Jahan par hume ye bata diya gaya ke there is initial condition. Or initial condition ko hum agar not ko agar hum t ki jagah likhe ya subscript mein likhe then it doesn't make a major difference where we have the uh, numerical value of it given that is 12,000. So let's talk about this given function. This is the rate of change of uh, remaining fuel. And this is the thing that we are assessing here, f bar x. Isko uh, ab definitely it's uh, uh, giving us the differential equation or uski extended form hai jo hum compare karke small a, small b ki values nikal ke usse solve kar sakte hain. So aapne dekha, humne se rearrange karke likha. Aur rearrange karne ke baad, uh, this is the derivative. Humne d f of x over d x ko is tarikah se likh lehen. Ya is the ya eki baat hai se mese likhne baat to eki hai. So in the next step, aake hamne isko is form mein likha, which is usually written in the standard form. So ye rearrangement hamne ki hamne f of x wali term ko uh, left hand side pe introduce kiya uh, from the uh, right hand side. Uska sign change ho gaya, which is also understood. To ab ye ek standard form se comparable hai. This is the uh, uh, derivative term. This is the function itself. Ye has small a ki value or ye has small b ki value. So this is something we have been doing. You can pause the video and you can uh, consider this. Now these are the values that we have extracted. Is may initial condition humne uh, previous slides a borrow ki hai aur baki values abhi humne last slide mein extract ki hai. Uske baad definitely b se hum start karenge aur hum ye faisla karenge ki homogeneous case hai ya non-homogeneous case. So, uh, ye b ki value hai, that is minus 8 and that shows it's not equal to 0 and finally we can say that we are dealing with a non-homogeneous case because b is not equal to 0. Then we have this value of a which is not 0. So, uh, we have both of the values as non-zero which means that this is NHC where a is not equal to 0. That is non-homogeneous case with a is not equal to 0. So, this formula ye hota hai, ye bhi hume yaad hai. Is humne note kar liya. Is we have emphasized that there are values that we are going to substitute in the next step. And in the next step, we have done the substitution finally. We have done the values that we have done before. And here we have done the substitution. substitution ki hai. Further jo steps, hai, again, uh, you can easily handle these steps because these are simply the um, you know, uh, numerical and basic algebra steps that you can easily handle. So you can pause the video and do these steps. And finally, you will get this. This is the time path, which is definite in nature of the fuel consumption. And you can, um, uh, you know, rewrite it in this way, which actually shows that there are two components. One is the particular integral, which we have fp se show kiya, or wo hai complementary function, which we have uh, fc se show kiya. Or we know that uh, for dynamic stability, the uh, complementary function hai, usko कम से कम होना चाहिए। So आप यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं कि हमने आ, उसके ऊपर एक box लगा दिया, क्योंकि हम इसके ऊपर emphasize करने जा रहे हैं। और emphasis हमने इस दफा numerical way में किया है, और उसके लिए हमने सबसे पहले complementary function को लिखा, फिर overall time path को लिखा। 
जस्ट टू सी दैट हाउ इट हैपन्स इफ वी यूज नमेरिकल वैल्यूज तो आपने देखा टी की जगह पहले मैंने जीरो लगाया इनिशियल कंडीशन आ गई और उसके बाद ये सारी वैल्यूज इनिशियल कंडीशन के बाद की हैं अब आप इसके डायनामिक्स को ऑब्जर्व करें इट वॉज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बिफोर और ये नाइनटीन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड के करीब आ गया सो इट मीन्स दैट इट इज़ डिक्लाइनिंग जो कम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन है ये कम हो रहा है इट मीन्स के जो मूवमेंट है दैट इज़ फ्राम दी पॉइंट विच इज़ अ लिटल अवे फ्राम द इक्लिब्रियम टूवर्ड्स द इक्लिब्रियम दैट इज़ वाई आप देख रहे हैं ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड से वैल्यू जो है वो ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड तक आई है यहाँ पर डेफिनेटली टाइम की वैल्यू को हम मजीद इंक्रीज कर सकते हैं लेकिन स्पेस और टाइम की कमी की वजह से हमने ऐसा नहीं किया यू कैन डू दैट ऑन योर कैलकुलेटर और योर कंप्यूटर टू सी हाउ दिस हैपन्स बट वी कैन एटलीस्ट शो यू दायनामिक्स इन अ डायग्रामेटिकल फैशन और आप देख सकते हैं कि इसमें ऐसा ही है कि जो पॉइंट है हमारे पास इक्विब्रियम का वहाँ पर ये मूवमेंट चल रही है इट स्टार्ट फ्राम ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड और ये डिक्लाइन है कन्वर्जेंस हो रही है बिकॉज देर इज डिक्लाइन इन द डायवेशन कम्पोनेंट जिसे हम कम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन भी कहते हैं एंड दैट वॉज द ओवरऑल टाइम पाथ टाइम गुजरने के साथ साथ एफ सी जीरो की तरफ चल रहा है और एफ सी के जीरो की तरफ चलने की वजह से जो टाइम पाथ है एफ टी दैट इज अप्रोचिंग एफ एस्टेरिस दैट इज इक्विब्रियम वैल्यू ऑफ एफ और इसके अंदर कन्वर्जेंस हो रही है सो देर फोर वी कैन से दैट दिस इज डायनामिकली स्टेबल इक्विब्रियम that we are dealing with so you saw that in aviation industry to analyze the uh, changes and the overall value of fuel consumption of aircrafts we can use this tool uh, and that is the tool of first order differential equations thank you